yes. Dr. Prashant Avantpure, sir. He is the founder of Sarakshi Anitrala in Nagpur. He is honorary associate professor at Indira Gandhi Government Medical College, Nagpur. He has vast experience with complex vitro retinal surgical procedures, ROP lasers, and trauma management. He is one of the pioneers of 3D digitally assisted surgeries in our country. He is a much sought after speaker and invited faculty. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Yeah. So look at the Good case. Evening. Good evening, everyone, and uh, thank you for those kind introductions. I'm not a very uh, pioneer vitreo retinal surgeon. I'm just a routine vitreo retinal surgeon, which uh, Saurav and all sitting there, you are dwarfing, uh, rather making me embarrassed. Okay, this case is of a uh, vitreous hemorrhage, non-resolving vitreous hemorrhage, more than a month. I think cataract surgery was done few months back. We do not know the etiology. B scan does show, I think B scan must have been shared. The B scan shows vitreous hemorrhage with an incomplete PVD. So nowadays our train, I am going to do 25 gauge vitrectomy with a Alcon constellation system. I Prashant? think you have to be louder. Uh, Prashant, we, so you can tell the audiovisual people. We can't hear you. We are, okay. uh, voice is not, we are not able to hear. Now I uh, am uh, I audible? Now no, very good. Now very good. Yeah, so this is a case of a uh, non-resolving vitreous hemorrhage. A patient has a pseudo phacos. Uh, etiology, I am not much aware. Probably she is hypertensive. B scan shows a vitreous opacities with incomplete PVD. I am going to do 25 gauge vitreous surgery with the Alcon constellation system. Uh, so, this is a 25 gauge, about 3.5 millimeter after sliding the conjunctiva. I just put it and uh, the cannula, trocar cannula, and the cannula goes there. If Dr. Manish, the glaucoma specialist is there, look at the amount of the trauma which we do to the conjunctiva. He was putting a blame on vitreoretinal surgeons some time back that we damage a lot of conjunctiva for them. And so again the same thing has to be done for the other eye. Uh, at 10 and 2 o'clock we will be putting the same thing. Another trocar cannula. Infusion cannula. Tell her, tell her to <laughs> quieten. She She's, what happened? Ask her. Okay. On infusion on. Okay. Off. End oil monitor. So once we put an infusion cannula, we need to confirm the presence of the infusion cannula inside the vitreous cavity and once it is confirmed then only the vitre infusion cannula is put on now i will be moving with the endo illuminator and the 25 gauge cutter for anterior vitrectomy you don't need any weaving systems well this is just post well i am using a 10k cutter which has a b well which has moved a port optimization the alcon people have done which moves that the port has moved closer to the tip and that allows this uh, instrument to be used as a forceps as well as as a pick. This is anterior vitrectomy. Now I am doing a primary posterior capsulotomy because the whole posterior capsule seems to be stained with the blood. I have created a primary posterior capsulotomy adequate enough to let me visualize and let the lens be stable enough. Infusion on? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Huh. Can I have a wide angle weaving biome? Inverter consa is me? SDI? Hello, I could have I am not used to recite. Uh, I do use in one of the center my the colleague, who, uh, the guy who is at uh, the green one is. Huh, it's sort of sort. Yellow, yellow one is for peripheral, no? wide angle. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. And. Uh, Inverter. 
okay so this is manual okay focus So this is a classic chicken fat vitreous hemorrhage which we call the vitreous surgeon call which deny, uh, denotes that the hemorrhage has been lying down the, there for a quite a pretty long period of time and the RBCs have converted into ghost cells. So we are using a cutter at 10,000 cuts. What is the vacuum setting? Can anyone? Uh, yeah, 500. A vacuum is 500. I am working at the highest vacuum. When I am in the core vitreous, rather you can use the cutting spare vacuum, highest vacuum. As you go closer to the retina, vacuum you should use lesser. It's a proportional vacuum. It is all controlled by your foot switch. So you have a part, part PVD, Prashant. Pardon, sir? You have PVD partly, I think. Didn't get you, sir. Can no, you be a bit louder? Uh, can you hear? Yeah, now, yes. Yeah, no, no, there is a PVD is partly present, so you can see the yeah. retina through that. Saline. Cornea is getting cloudy. Oh. Hmm. trying to induce the PVD, that is the separation of the posterior vitreous from the retina, that is one of the most critical step in the management of any retinal vitreous procedure. Yeah, that is a PVD induction. There, there seem to be a subretinal hemorrhage also, altered subretinal hemorrhage. Prashan? Yes, sir. No, there seems to be a subretinal, altered subretinal hemorrhage. Exactly, sir. This bleed seems to be secondary to uh, subretinal bleed which has br broken through into the vitreous yeah. cavity. I don't see, sir, right now any vascular retinopathy associated. Yeah. Whatever the vessels which are exposed to me. Lo looks like IPCV. Yeah, it's exactly. It's a piece IPCV which has bled probably into the vitreous cavity, a breakthrough bleed. Peripheral PCV is there, sir. Inferiorly, you can see. Yes. The other eye has you know, normal retina, looks like, right? Okay. Do send the other eye. Mm. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Uh, ARMD usually will be restricting only to the macula. And IP is typical. You have, yeah. Sort. 
Can you help me with the patient? Better equal and give it again. Oh, two we have given. My fastest vitrectomy is 6-7 minutes, but this is a little thick hemorrhage, so Auntie, please don't move. Ah. Sorry, ah. Very good. Give me. Uh -huh. Saline, uh, pani. Next, whistle on, whistle on. Whistle on, put whistle on. Yeah, good. Naka varcha, thoda varkar. Naka varcha, naka varcha. Shivas ne gete hai te, naka varcha thoda sa tanna haa. Thik hai? बरोबर है ना इन्फ्यूशन इज इट ओके या ग्रेट So this is a chicken fat hemorrhage. In, in cases where you have a subretinal bead post PCV, the vitreous is quite adherent and sometimes you might cause a break. So you have to be very careful by inducing a PVD and avoid the, even if you afford not to not do a complete PVD in such cases, it makes not much of a difference because the treatment is just to clear. Vitreectomy we are doing to clear the media. We are not doing actually as a treatment. And then the PCV needs to be treated with an anti vegf molecule. Will you do ICG post vitrectomy? This is a peripheral PCV, you can see. Yes. Multiple lesions in the periphery. So I usually get an ICG done post vitrectomy. Prashant? Yes, sir. Uh, no, no. I said uh, post vitrectomy, I usually get uh, when the media is clear, ICG done and then give the anti vegf Yeah, I think we can even con inject an anti vegf now at the conclusion of the surgery. Yes. Salim, vision okay. near. Sir, um, my uh, audible and visible my end yeah see uh, the thing is we have cleared the non resolving vitreous hemorrhage and as you can see this is optic nerve uh -huh. this is the macula and these are the massive 
choroidal PCV like lesions you can see the choroidal folds over here this is secondary to the uh, choroidal lesions which are there and this lesions as al already Dr. Natarajan said we need to give an anti vegf or do an ICG and further inject which type of a molecule you would like to in such cases a flibercept or a pegenex would be an ideal molecule beyond this in this case you don't need to do anything further so th we are at the completion of our surgery thank you Partha thank you Trenetralaya for this wonderful opportunity so we can sign off so I did as fast as a FACO surgeon can do thank you thank you very